Hey, Ben, how are you? Okay, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, I was uh, coding all day long, uh, fixing some GitHub actions. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when you are totally focused in something, I forgot about these coding times. Because uh, uh, after you uh, approved my pull request, so I discovered that, that GitHub action is still failing. Mm -hmm. So I needed to uh, um, GraphQL support. We were using the REST API for issues and all the updates and so on. But I realized that uh, the REST API is not supporting discussions. So yeah, <laughs> oh, I, needed, no. I needed to add support for GraphQL. Uh, I mean, that that happened because I didn't make uh, proper testing. So yeah, I'm guilty, but... I mean, this process uh, helped me to keep policing my GitHub action <laughs> actions coding. So yeah, mm. it was fun. But I was coding like uh, until 10 minutes ago. So yeah. <laughs> hey, Jason. Hey. Hey, Greg. Good morning. Let's wait a couple of minutes to see if someone else joins. We have almost as many note takers as we have participants today. Yeah, we don't really need mine as well. But yeah, interesting sometimes to see what it summarizes. Yeah. Uh, what I can say is my life is is better since I'm using this uh, for these meetings because this meeting is happening like 11 p.m. my time and and when I was taking the notes uh, without this AI stuff uh, I needed to work harder and I'm saving like a couple hours uh, at least maybe the quality is not the same but is is good enough right. Hey, Juan. Hey, yeah, Juan. I don't know if Everybody. I can do it. Yeah, my, my brain doesn't work at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> Me too, but I, I have to, to do my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greg uh, was connected like a couple of minutes ago, so maybe he's having some connectivity issues or something. So hopefully he will be able to join later. Yeah, I got a message from Greg saying he's driving and he'll need 20 minutes or so to figure it out or join later on mobile. Um, so yeah, he's not going to be with us to to start. That reminds me, um, we uh, I got a uh, notice that they uh, are going to be working on the power lines uh, sometime today. So uh, so if I drop out mysteriously, it's because the power went out. Fun. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Shall we get started then? Five minutes past the starting time, so maybe.
Okay, let's go then. I'm going to share my screen um, and start with the meeting etiquette. Let me make this bigger. We will like to record this meeting to share it with the community, but also in YouTube. If someone is again sharing this publicly in YouTube, just reach out to me privately and I will take care of no loading this one. Uh, during the meeting, we encourage everyone to challenge any language or behavior that is harmful, not inclusive, or against our code of conduct. We'll try to stay on mute when another person is speaking and use the Zoom reactions to ask for a time to speak. And that's it. Um, today's agenda has these two items. Uh, we still have time to add more topics. So if you have something in mind, uh, just uh, write in the chat or add a comment and we will cover that topic later. The two items I added, first, um, go back to the stable release um, board and see what is the current status to see if we can keep progressing with the issues and see if the board is useful. And second item, uh, I would love to share an update about uh, where we are with the new website and the plan for a re uh, release date, a real release date, no more delays. Um, any questions so far with this agenda? Cool. Let's start with the first item as every day, uh, reviewing the action items of the last call. In the last call, we discussed about um, adding format registry as a secondary concern of JSON schema. And uh, we try, uh, we, I was, we were intended to speak about the stable release, but um, we decided to skip the item because uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Jason, you wasn't there and this is mostly a Greg, uh, you and me discussion. So we didn't cover that point. But regarding format registry, uh, we agreed in uh, getting for opinion, feedback or vote to the rest of the community or the leading team. Uh, I added a line here um, to see what I said. Basically, is please add your vote as a comment or use the TST discussion channel. And if I'm not mistaken, nobody replied. Only uh, Karen asked me about what is the issue when we discuss about former registry. But we don't have a former issue. So probably what I should do is create a uh, an issue to open a discussion to explain what is format registry and allow the people not only vote, but also like share uh, thoughts, insights, and so on. How that sounds? I think that we don't have an issue, right? Yeah, so I'm I'm not really sure that we need to, to have an issue and, and vote on it. Um, I just really wanted to see if anybody objected to it. Um, I think people will be familiar with with the format registry, and yeah, I think we just wanted to check if there are any like objections. Um, I don't know if others felt the same, but I don't think we need to to vote on it. Um, it's a fairly minor thing, and it's only a secondary concern. So it's not something we have to focus on, but it's just something that we can say is is an area that we consider part of our, um, you know, our remit. Oh, thanks for speaking up, Juan. Um, the format registry um, is something that the Open API initiative started to register additional or to, to catalog additional strings for the format keyword um, and identifying their semantics and um, validation um, requirements. Mm -hmm. um, there was some discussion about um, really they wanted it to be done by JSON schema, but we didn't have the capacity or something about that at the time. 
Um, so they created it and um, it sounds like they are happy for us to um, take over responsibility for that. Um, the logistics in terms of how we would do that is to be determined and we'd have to talk with them about that. But this this point at the moment is just whether we consider it a a concern like within scope of the Jason Skeeran project to be concerned about such things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, this is what I understood. But yeah, probably I what I'm going to do is in that uh, Slack discussion just clarify this point as you just shared and see if it's enough for Karen and if. Um, you guys can just reply here uh, if if you are okay because I I didn't ask for a vote directly. I mean I didn't ask for concerns. I said are you okay in having this as uh, a secondary concern? But it's like the opposite question. But anyways, if if you can uh, reply in the in the TSD channel or in this issue, that will help. At least we will have kind of luck or about what we agreed. Make sure I get it, Ben. So what you're saying, because I, I'm not, I haven't done a lot of open API stuff. So open API is extending format with a lot of new strings, right? On format. And they want those to be sort of standardized by JSON scheme instead of them being their own extensions. So yeah, historically the format keyword, um, and even currently, even I, I believe it says you can you can put anything you want in there. Um, as long as the parties using that definition agree on the what that means. Um, yeah. I mean, we have the vocabulary system now, and that can be used, but there's existing use cases, and there's you know, the long tail of people that are, are using older JSON schema or don't need to have a vocabulary if to just add a particular format key or format value. Um, so and, in practice, that would mean that the JSON schema specifications they would contain a much bigger list of formats. We we wouldn't add it to the specification itself. This is just uh, an additional space for people to go and register um, the semantics of a particular string. Um, you know, the, the, there's there's nothing controversial in there. It's just making sure people are yeah. on the same page and understand what these are. Um, and it's community driven. It's not something driven by organization what, what i understood too is like is more like uh, administering or additional work of, uh, that uh, spec work as you said is like we have to make sure that we have a, a way or process for people to be able to register this and discuss about this and also, uh, we we discussed the past week about the opportunities about using this um, new space to um, help with adoption of of um, dialects and all these things, right? Did we said that the past week? That let me check the notes. <laughs> Did they say something that uh, doesn't make any sense at all? Uh, like if if it's not um we 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 said uh, specifically um, if it's not uh not everything is going to be able to fit in for majority so if if uh, dialects sometimes can solve the same thing right not yeah so someone could create any vocabulary and dialects for this purpose okay. vocabulary each, sorry vocabulary keyword. not dialect vocabulary yeah i mean they would need to create new vocabulary and a new dialect and they would have to use an implementation which supports that whereas um uh i think more implementations currently support um adding just like a format keyword as as a thing they support um would you think that's a fair assessment, Jason, based on the implementations you've looked at? Yeah, I think um, I think it's pretty difficult for the user to uh, to set all that up, and um, until we can make something like that easier, it's hard for us to say that that's uh, you know the the alternative that that the thing that we think people should be doing. Until then, I'd say that you know having a format registry makes sense.
I would like to dig down a little bit on a meta issue and why nobody uh, responded to uh, that uh, vote request. Um, I will say uh, for me, the, uh, the reason was uh, that it wasn't clear in the message, like how I was supposed to vote. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I kind of like waited to see what other people were going to do. And since nobody else did anything, uh, I forgot about it. Um, so that's, um, so that's my feedback on that. Thank you. Uh, super helpful. Uh, I'll try to make it clear for the next time. Uh, I'll maybe like find previous examples to see that, uh, make sure that I'm following the same uh, process if we have such a uh, standard process. If not, anyways, I will be more clear about that. Thank you. Any other comment about this formal registry? Great, thank you for the feedback. Let's go back to today's agenda. Um, first item that I added, but I'm not sure if we will be able to have the discussion because Greg is not here, is a check on the progress of the stable release. Um, uh, I note, uh, and he said that he was heavily working in, in updates and this is uh, everything that he added to to the board. But maybe it's better to have the discussion this week. I don't know if someone has any comment or has been working in the spec for the last days. Yeah, I think most of those are still in progress. Um, the uh, plain name IRI fragments. I think is probably, um, I think that has two um, um, approvals and can probably be merged. Um, oh, I guess I hadn't approved it, but I meant to, but Ben has. Cool. Um, I'm not sure why there's oh oh uh the, of the first two one of them's the issue and one of them's the PR for that issue okay um, yeah that one's um that one's mostly ready I think there was um one thing that Karen brought up but I think that uh, that's something we can discuss later it doesn't have to be addressed before this can be merged. Um, these, yeah, and that's the, that's the PR. Is the same? Yeah. yeah. Oh, did it, okay. did it go to the same place? What, no, one is, of the, is the, this is the discussion and this is the PR, but the same, right. this PR yeah. link to the issue. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then the second to last one, um, I haven't gotten to um, commenting on it yet, and it looks like nobody else has as well. Um, no. I've been, I've been kind of uh, uh, prioritizing uh, discussions that are in progress over um, starting a new discussion with this one. So, um, and I haven't gotten to, uh, that far yet. But definitely, there has been a good progress uh, in my, um, from an external perspective. <laughs> yeah. Being in uh, in the discussion, and one question: Is mm -hmm. this board being useful uh, or not? Uh, should we keep using it or keep trying at least? Um, not really. <laughs> 
I think let's um, let's keep using it for now. Um, I'm I'm not sure that it's actually helping at the at the moment, but um, but I want to give it a chance. And uh, that last uh, issue, I think, is ready to be merged as well. It hasn't already, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, something to add for the moment. I think that we have enough scope for the moment, right? So let's continue the discussion this week and see where we are. Agreed. At least uh, for people that is not uh, in every single discussion like, like me, uh, I appreciate having a board with what, what is moving, what the pieces moving. Uh, so, and people that uh, like me, I don't know if Juan is moving the head, so if it's useful for others. So yeah, let's, let's keep it. I need to make sure that this is public because I... Um, is not public for the moment so action item for me probably is make it make it public right and make sure that uh is open for everyone and hopefully we have more people uh checking what what is here and, and hopefully joining the discussion any other comment before jumping to the next topic. Cool. Thank you. Let's go to the next topic. Uh, my, one of my favorites, updates about the new website. Um, we are done with the development. Uh, it's not merged yet because um, I just received the last PR this morning from Ronnie, that is the person that has been working really hard with for having everything ready. But basically, let me quickly show where we are. I need to check this week uh, the content that uh, the content signs my first update that is May. So I need to check with the current site and the new website changes, updates, and also I need to check that all the links are working because we have been updating a, a, a bunch of, of docs and so on. So this week is for me to check content and my proposal of launch plan is, let me make this bigger. is um, launch uh, September 25th. How that sounds? It's a Monday, the last week of September. Uh, I'm going to, as soon as we have um, the last PR merge, because it's not much for the moment, but I'm going to show you a preview. As soon as we have this in the main branch of the website, I'll be asking for feedback in the community. It's feedback that we are not going to be able to fix for the launch. So we are going to uh, get that feedback and and have a plan to fix bug, bugs, uh, issues, or improve different areas or implement new features. But um, Ronnie, that is the person that has been coding, and myself, that I was, I I have been doing uh, some. Task two, we don't have bandwidth. So it's just, as I said, things to improve, feedback, um, create a list of features, and so on. But this is looking cool. Um, we still need to merge uh, all the content that Akansa is working for the implement the docs uh, strategy. It's not merged yet, but this is going to be really cool. Uh, we will have um, 
filters here, for example, case studies. With this feature, we will be able to create a, a section of case studies. Maybe we can put in the top menu. Um, this page it has a lot of range of improvement, but at least uh, it's better than the previous one. And in docs, I think that the experience is much better. Now, looking forward to get some feedback about everything we have, but it's just the beginning. So, 25th of September. <laughs> I think. We launched a new website after what, like a decade at least on the old one? He served it well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, uh, maybe we we should keep it in somewhere uh, live. Yeah, Internet Archive will take care of that. Yes. Well, one minute of silence for the old website. Right. And by the way, related uh, with uh, the web new website, something that happened, uh, but silently, we have a branding repo uh, with all the resources that um, the person that worked with us to create the designs and so on. So we have everything here. So we will be able to evolve this in the future or have more people collaborating, et cetera. We have a bunch of... Uh, logos, um, Figma files. So yeah, I think that overall, I mean, no, I don't know where we will have contributions here, but it's a good uh, step forward, in my opinion. That's it. Any comment related to this or any other topic that we can use to, this time to discuss. I did have another topic to bring up, but it's probably best to wait uh, till we have uh, more people here. Let's do it. I can, uh, I can share the, the one that I'm thinking about, so. We can start thinking about it for next week. I didn't that copy. As an aside, uh, myself and Ben Ha, oh, I, I see Ben Ha, I'm not sure. Um, I, I at least wouldn't be here. I will be traveling uh, next week at this time. Um, ben Ha, what, when is your flight? I'm flying the same Tuesday in the morning. So okay. I, I will be able to to join the meeting. Uh, so yeah. Super. Yeah. Everything for using a schema. So no problem. Where are you guys going? Open Source Summit is here in Spain, in Bilbao, in the north. Oh, that one. Yeah. All right. yeah. yeah. We will take some pictures for you guys. Yeah. And by the way, Ben, uh, food is amazing in in the north of Spain. So I will mm -hmm. I will check to see if we can it, Julian is not is not here. Uh, he's not going to be there, but Julian is like the the foodie of the of the of the <laughs> community. But I mean we will try our best. Um, Jason, this issue you shared is just for us to think about that for the next meeting, or do you want to say something? Yeah, 472. Yeah, it's um, mostly for us to think about for uh, future discussion. Um, I did put the uh, the agenda label on it, but only like a minute before the meeting started. So I, I think it's better that um, it's not like uh, like a surprise and people have a chance to look at it before the meeting, but um, but yeah. Yeah, we'll do. I'll add it to the notes also to make sure that he's there for the next meeting. Thank you.
Hey, Greg. Hello, what a mess. We, we, we just, just, we just decided, finished, so... <laughs> yeah, we just we decided say... to give you guys a back, saying you're going to be really busy. That, that, that doesn't tell me what I missed. <laughs> uh, um, basically, we I said that um, the new website development is complete, and my plan is to launch the last week of September. And the second topic we discussed is, I mean, we discussed three. The second is uh, was we took a look to the stable release board to see what what was the, what are the issues and pull requests there and. Jason said uh, what he has been working on. So maybe considering that you are here, so you can share a little bit about that. And the other thing we discussed is about the format registry. Uh, we discussed the past week about uh, pros and cons of adding mm -hmm. format registry as a secondary concern. And we I asked for both for uh, to the community and the leading team to see what they thought but wasn't my que my question wasn't clear uh fully clear so yeah i hope that we will have more votes this week that was all so if you like we can take a look to the board of the stable release uh, if you want like to share something if not uh, we were ready to close the, the session for today okay um yeah i basically have put up a lot of prs um people have slowly been going after them um i'd like at least i'd like for us to have at least uh two sets of eyes on prs as they go through um i'd like to try to get two approvals i don't want to merge them with one just one approval that just doesn't seem quite right in in this kind of thing um but yeah, that's what I've been waiting on. And a lot of them were done, uh, I guess, over the past two weeks. I think some of them are coming up to their two-week limit of, uh, or two-week two minimum um, so that they can be merged. Um, unfortunately, there's not a way for me to automatically have that job rerun. Um, but uh, yeah, I do have quite a few uh prs out there i've added one more to that um to that board as well um not all of the prs that i've opened i think necessarily belong in this uh stable release development track but um yeah you notice that the um the documentation stuff was not in there which I think would be fair to put it in there. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, and Greg, I was mentioning earlier, there's one issue that, or one PR that you put up that um, that nobody's um, commented on yet. Um, I, for one, have uh, been prioritizing discussions that are in progress and um, saving that until, uh, you know, some of the other stuff is resolved. So- uh, Which just, one? I forget what it was called. Because um, there are several that I've actually put up uh, that haven't been commented on yet. Is that right? Yeah. Just the one that I haven't. So there's uh, locatable IRI adjustments, which is 1435. That's the one. Okay, that one is definitely one that I think we need because that's that's the the one that uh, resolves all the stuff that we've been discussing. Yeah, every time I think I'm going to get to that one, uh, some other uh, ongoing discussion. Uh, gets in the way all right well this is the one in this i i basically propose all the stuff that julian has 
has mentioned all the stuff that I, I mentioned in the thread, all that stuff's in here. I have one comment on here of stuff that I, I'm not really sure needs to go into the spec, probably goes into uh, documentation. Um, but I put it in there to get other people's opinions. Uh, other than that, this PR should close out that discussion. And then we can just move on. So this is uh, Greg, uh, this uh, 1435 is the top priority, right? The the more the more I mean your priority. And that's the one, to... yeah, that's the one that we've been discussing for like a month and a half. Okay. And if we have two prioritize the other PR, so can we prioritize them? Like after this one, what is the second one you would like to get more reviews on? Maybe it's useful for, for you or for others if we have put some priority here. I think that priority is good. The uh the it the the issue that you have listed there, the third one down, the the second PR is actually the PR for that one. The so one no 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 no. Okay. This yeah. this so you said oh, so for okay fourteen thirty four is the PR for fourteen twenty. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. But fourteen thirty needs to go farther down in the priority. Further down, it's been okay. approved. Okay. It's just it's one of those things. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things. Uh, fourteen. You can move it <laughs> directly. It's going to be faster, maybe. <laughs> 1430 and 1431 are uh, changes that were made back when it, the spec was XML still. And um, it was approved back then. I just translated it to Markdown. Um, I'm just waiting for the, the two week period on that, on those. Um, but those, those can just go whenever, whenever they're ready. I will try to remind in the contribute and at least the channels to see if we can have more reviews. See if we are lucky. Any other comment? Anyone? I'll just mention one more time, uh, now that everybody's here, uh, next week I'd like to talk about um, the uh, the issue of what uh, features should be considered stable for um, for the stable release, that one. Um, so uh, appreciate people having a look at that ahead of time so we can have a good discussion about it. I will try to promote it also in in Slack to see we have other eyes uh, providing feedback. Sure. And maybe in in social media or is not we don't like too much people speaking at this point about this. So only in Slack or maybe more outreach. What do you think, Tim? Uh, I'm not sure. Slack, uh, Slack is definitely fine. Um, I don't know that I have an opinion on going bigger than that. Or not. My concern with, with going wider than Slack is that it's going to bring a lot of people in that probably don't understand what we're trying to do here. Um, and we're just going to get a lot of uh, a lot of opinions on what we can yeah. add to Jason instead of Jason schema, like supporting comments. Yeah, agree. Let's do it. Comments is definitely a stable feature. 
<laughs> okay. Um, not that we are still discussing, I like to quickly touch on something. Um, about this block uh, pull request we had with the defects in schemas. So we uh, there has been one review by Greg, but um, there is an opportunity to continue the discussion. And I was I just wanted to check with you all if I can just jump here and say if we can jump into a proper discussion with with them to see what we can get from there. How that sounds. And me or some or someone else. I mean, it's just uh, opening the instead of continue the discussion as a proper pull request review, like jumping into a discussion to to do it in a like more friendly, a creative or whatever way. Yeah, I think I think it's good for us to uh, discuss and entertain um third party studies on json schema even if they don't shine a positive light on on json schema uh what i particularly don't want is for us to just put that in our blog um i i feel like our blog is really intended for us to showcase json schema rather than um you know, this particular paper offers alternatives to JSON schema and and recommends suggestions for uh, for changing JSON schema to make uh, the errors that they identified uh, harder to make. Um, I just don't think that's the right material for our blog. That's my objection. Yeah, I, I uh, without considering if it's uh, right material or not, I think that as an opportunity for us to improve uh, processes, I think that we don't have uh, written uh, anywhere what is the criteria to publish content there. So maybe we, something we can, I can uh, prepare. Uh, or start suggest about how to do it and get feedback to see what are what are the type of content that we can put there and what other content should go other to other places like this one like two discussions. Right? So we have uh, more um, arguments to for the next time to to guide the people properly. I just thought this wasn't a very appropriate way to start a conversation about these issues. Yeah, um, I they should have talked to us, and they kind of did. Uh, Jason, you you weren't you weren't in it. So the person who posted this um, started a conversation with uh, Ben and Juan and myself. Why those three? I don't know, but it was a a DM uh, in there, and there's a lot of conversation that happens in that DM. Um, basically they were asking, Hey, you know, they, they, they presented, Hey, we did this study. We'd like to put it, make a blog post about it. And, you know, that's where the discussion started. And then my notes on the PR also came out of, uh, it came out in that discussion as well. Um, but there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of discussion happening. It's just that the three of us were, were privy to that. Um, I think maybe next time we'll probably take that a little bit more, uh, put that in a public channel or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, that would have made um, sense for that to be been a public discussion. Yeah, it, or maybe at least more inclusive yeah. with the rest of the team. Um, I'm not sure if if uh, all of the content of that, um, if that discussion needs to be public. So did you invite them to uh, submit a blog post or did they just? Uh, initially, 
initially when they first said that they did a study on on it i was like yeah we're open to other people you know outside people posting uh you know posting on our blog um of course we you know i, I did mention that we would want to review the subject matter and and all that kind of stuff and uh, so we had some discussion and then the blog went up probably a few days later so or the the pr rather the pr went up a few days later so okay. yeah that uh uh clears things up a bit for me i thought it was really random yeah i think it was I think it was interesting that the PR still went up given the direction of the conversation that we were having. Um, because the direction of the conversation we were having, uh, I had already stated that I don't think it's good material for the blog. Um, and Juan made some criticisms, Ben made some criticisms, I made some criticisms. They were defending it. We were discussing it and everything. And then the PR went up and it, it just felt odd that the PR still went up uh, after after the discussion that we had. So are we creating a discussion or something with them to see how far we go or we arrive with them? And maybe I'm not saying not publishing anything at all, but maybe at some point, if there is kind of constructive um, output of the discussion, uh, see if something can be published, not directly maybe the reports or maybe like more opening to opportunities out there. Like I, I like it uh, how Juan uh, spoke uh, past week about the possibilities to uh, learn or build something or get uh, learnings. So you have some, maybe at some point in the ideal world, if the discussion ends properly, we can publish something in the future or we can go into that discussion with the one of the possible happy endings of that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think if uh, if we're going to post what they uh, what they've written, it should also come with a rebuttal from our side showing the uh, uh, the a different view of uh, the results of their. Uh, of their data yeah yeah and maybe the result of the discussion is okay uh let's re get a, another review to the your article uh see if can be published and also this use our public vote too so we can show that we are not like um banning content or not allowing the people to share the, their, their, their thoughts, but have that conversation, uh, share our standpoint and publish something uh, constructive afterwards. Two things together. So maybe it can like open the gate for more people feel empowered to share other things that maybe is, is not like a, is controversial or something, but we can turn it in like a, we like to discuss and we like to improve. <laughs> I'd be up for that. Yeah, that sounds good. It's challenging, but it's good. <laughs> it's challenging, yes. So I'll I'll jump into the discussion and invite them to 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 have that calm discussion. As a, share some, I mean, the expectations and possible output of the discussion, and let's see what they say about that. And uh, okay. if if we have something, uh, let's discuss next week uh, to see if something's good or not, or is like getting into 
dirty waters, let's say. Yeah. Any other comment? If we are done with the agenda. I do have uh, one one comment. I've put a uh, discussion uh, thread up in the chat. Uh, it's number 473, um, where I had proposed an alternative to uh, an alternative approach to using the dollar schema in JSON documents. Um, and Jason had a very good uh, explanation as to why uh, multiple reasons why that probably wouldn't work as well as we would want it to. And um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to pin this on the discussions tab. This is a request that we get a lot. Um, and I'd like for people to just be able to see it right away. And, and when I say we get it a lot, we actually got it over like overnight for me uh, in the general channel and Julian had responded to it. Uh, and I saw it, and I was like, Ooh, we have a thing for that now. Um, where we can just point people to this whenever they ask the question. And, uh, it explains why one, we can't specify what goes into a JSON document because it's a different specification and two, why putting schema in JSON documents in general just doesn't work. Makes sense. So at least for a limited time, I'd like to see it pinned on the discussions on uh, just front page. I think that's a good idea. I think uh, in general, there's probably um, a bunch of topics that come up a lot that would be a good idea to pin on the discussions page for people to find easier. Yeah. Almost sounds like we need like a FAQ discussion, which we pin, and then people find all of the really important discussions and answers from that. But I guess yeah, maybe, um, one step at a time. To, yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, can we directly pin it, or do we need more feedback opinions? about that. Yeah, go ahead and pin it. I took note about the FAQ. Uh, I do agree that is uh, something we should be working on. So yeah, I, it's not going to be immediate, but I added to my list of things to to build for the next week's month. have some sort of a style guide. Right. It's like these are the do's and don'ts when using you know JSON schema in practice. Well, this I don't know that this falls under a do's and don'ts. Um, this is more of a frequently asked question. Like, can can we do this, or can the JSON schema you know automatically support support this and the answer to that is no. Well, then there are two questions, right? One of them is, can JSON schema cover this? And the other one is that, should I do this on my own documents, which then leads me to ask, you know, the specifiers to, to address it. Right. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Which is why I'm not so sure that that document was relevant to the question today. Because the two questions are different from each other. Which is not to say that I don't think we should pin the topic. Maybe we should, but I, I don't, I don't, th I think I agree with one. The second question is different from the first one. So whether tools should do it is, and whether the JSON schema people recommend that tools do it is a different question from, are we going to add it to the spec? Mm hmm Yeah, I agree. Um, I think it would be good to document that convention somewhere um, so that at least people who are using it are using the same way. Um, 
but uh but yeah this is a good uh a good thing to point people to to understand why it's not in the spec and just a convention all right that's all i had And we are done, right? So thank you everyone for making the time. It was a great uh, meeting. We started with just two items in the agenda, but uh, the magic happened and we had like a very long conversation with multiple topics. topics. So thank you everyone. I hope you will have a great day uh, and hope to speak with you all soon. Uh, so take care. Have good rest of the day and see you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. All the best. Bye, everyone. Thanks.